Hey y'all, thanks for coming by my channel today. We're gonna to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. I have two bags here full of Christmas items and some other items too as well, but I think mainly Christmas. One thing I was looking for this past time when I went to the Dollar Tree was stocking stuffers for men. I think that guys are so hard to shop for. I mean, it depends on you know your significant other, your boyfriend, your husband, but I have always really, really struggled with it. Um, just so y'all know, that's not a snake. That's a plastic cat toy. I have to get rid of this tail. Like, I can't even think. Okay, snake. Bye. When I went by the Dollar Tree, to be honest with you, it looked pretty torn apart. There was stuff everywhere. But with that being said, I still managed to find some good stuff. And I wanted to show you what I found in these bags. So I'm going to be pulling at random and just kind of explaining why I bought these things. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. And if you've been with my channel since the very beginning, you probably remember I used to do these all the time. Like if you scroll back to the very beginning of my channel, it started as like a Dollar Tree haul channel. <laughs> and back in the day, her name was Cheap Crafty Girl. I think she's crafty girl today. I still watch her videos sometimes, but she was such an inspiration to me. Um, so she still does Dollar Tree hauls very often. So I highly recommend checking out her channel. Um, I was just thinking back to the very beginning and I'm like, that's how it really all started. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoy this. Also too, we have down here my little coffee on the floor. I just made like a little latte this morning, put some cream and some Splenda in there. I know I have a very large straw, but <laughs> that's all they had at the store. I tend to pick up coffee mugs when I go to the thrift store because it just makes me feel good. And they're like 49 cents, I think, if not cheaper. And I didn't have a winter one. So I saw this one the other day. I was like, I gotta grab that. Okay, y'all, I'm just going to be pulling at random, and I apologize if I still sound congested. My nose is just still stuffed. I'm getting over a sinus infection that's lasted forever, <laughs> so excuse that. Okay, my first item is these three packs of tissue paper. One thing I want to point out is that this one that's sparkly, as you can see, it has sparkles, has 20 sheets. And this one that's completely white has 35 sheets. These are the better deal. But I did want to like throw a couple of sheets in each present that had some sparkle to it for Christmas. So I did just pick up one pack. Hey Mouse, you joining us? Oh, you want to do the haul? Alright, I'll sit back and drink coffee and you can just present the things, okay? This is a really good deal on tissue paper, and if you are a reseller, I highly recommend getting your tissue paper, whether it's like sparkly or white or designed, from the Dollar Tree. Because if you buy it from the store, you guys, it's so expensive, and it's just all the way around a really good money-saving thing. Look at all the goodies I have down here. So many little things. One thing I did not realize that I paid three dollars for was this guy. <laughs> I thought he was a dollar. I'm just now seeing the three dollar tag. I'm not sure if I would have paid three dollars, but that's okay. Dollar Tree now has this thing where they have like a three dollar, five dollar section and a dollar section. It was not like that back in the day when I first started, but as everybody knows, with the economy and prices, stuff changes. So anyway, this was for the coffee bar. Granted, we only have one more week or so, or is it two weeks, till Christmas. And I just don't want to get a whole bunch of Christmas decorations at this point. I mean, we have our tree up and um, we have de some decorations up. So I didn't want to do like a full coffee bar decor thing. Even though, you guys, I love doing... Um, coffee bar decorations do y'all remember those videos like i used to totally um do different holiday coffee bar themed decorations but anyway um i like this for a couple reasons one i could put my straws in it at my coffee bar two it looks very farmhouse three you could turn it around and put like a different decoration on the back of it um for a different holiday or you could just leave it white take off the ribbon there's a lot of different things you could do with this it's just called metal jug so anyway it's pretty tall i mean that's the size of my hand i think these like long straws will stick out of it so <laughs> we will see how it looks oh my goodness there's so much stuff in here 
Okay, on to other stocking stuffer ideas. Some of these are going to go into our cabinet to be eaten, and some are going to go into his stocking. But I believe the sharks I'm going to put in his. It's just a little bit more masculine. They're little gummy sharks made with fruit juice. And then the Haribo Star Mix. This is one that I really like. You could put any of the candy you find at the Dollar Tree in a stocking, and it would work great. I mean, they're all really good sizes, especially this one, to stick down in a stocking. Um, so candy can be really expensive, but at the Dollar Tree, it is just $1.25 per bag or box of whatever you get. Here are even more candy ideas, the mini sour carnival pops. I like these because they are individually wrapped and some of the candies are individually wrapped or some just come in a box like this. This says lumps of coal, which I think is so cute. And it says, were you naughty or nice this year? And that's like the little flavors, which is black cherry and um, blackberry so i'm definitely giving that one to my boyfriend for christmas just stocking up on health food over here aren't we all all right more good things and more good things y'all this is so fun i feel like i need to do dollar tree diys again and get back into doing this because this just completely takes me back <laughs> but anyway um this is a light up led necklace so my plans with this were to not buy anything that looked like this when i went in the dollar tree <laughs> But when I was checking out my items, I saw this on a shelf. Isn't that always how it happens? And immediately I thought of putting this on my Chihuahua when we go see the Christmas lights. I know I am extra. My Chihuahua is extra. But like I used to do that back when a long time ago. I would take the dogs to the park and um, put lights around their neck and walk them. And they had so much fun. Now, these do light up. I believe they, let's see what they do. Six flashing LED lights. They flash. I believe they stay um, like lit up, not flashing. So you have a little pull tab in here that you have to pull in this little thing. And I do not remember these lasting a long time, you guys. Like, this was a one-time use for me. But, I mean, for $1.25 and to have fun and decorate your dog and have them all lit up or wear it around your neck for a Christmas party, it's not bad. I have so much stuff. I'm trying to, like, keep it out of the screen. But, like, there really is so much stuff here. Okay, let me push this over. Okay, you guys, this is some little cards I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, these are money holders, and I'm sorry, I'm going to use these in my um, reselling uh, packages that I send out because of a couple of reasons. One, being money holders, um, I would prefer regular cards, but they didn't have any. They only had the money holders left, which I think is so funny. Like, they were out of the regular cards, like, Ain't nobody getting no money holders this year, y'all. Sorry. Because of the economy. I mean, people just can't be pass passing out cash like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure a lot of people do give cards and money. But they were really cute. They're sparkly. And so my idea and what I have honestly always done, but not with money holders, is put a little tea bag and sticker in here and send it. I always get the pre-wrapped tea bags. You know, let me open one of these cards real quick. I want to see what the inside looks like so I can show you. Okay, so yeah, you just open it right here and it has a little pocket and it says and a happy new year so this does not say that there has to be money in it if I put a little like sticker in the middle right there I mean I guess that little place like right this area is where you would put the money <laughs> but if I put a sticker in a tea bag like nobody is gonna really think about that I don't think so. oh actually you know what it says insert a gift card here okay so a big sticker is gonna go over that Christmas tree as well <laughs> But we can make this work. I really just got this because these are backup cards. They were really cute again, but I needed some Christmas cards and I don't want to spend like $20 for a pack at the store. So this is just like as needed until we get through Christmas. Also really quickly, speaking of gift cards, my Dollar Tree for the first time I saw started offering gift cards to all different stores when I was there. And I actually did end up picking up a Bath and Body Works one for somebody in my family. And um, that was really convenient, but also was not a purchase I was planning on making when I went to the Dollar Tree. So that's something to look out for. If you need a gift card, you may want to check your local local Dollar Tree. Here's another candy. I already showed you these, so we're just gonna keep on making our Willy Wonka stash over there. 
I picked up some of these. Um, one of them, I think this one will go into my boyfriend's stocking and these two I'm going to put on our counter. We really enjoy using these um, in water. They taste pretty good. I mean, they really do. I'm not sure if I've ever had this one. I know I have not had this one and I believe I do like this one. But they have different Sonic ones, different um, Skittles ones. And for $1.25, these are more expensive than that at the store. Um, five calories, zero fat, two carbohydrates, zero sugar, zero added sugar, and protein. Not sure exactly what's in these, but I mean, if you need a little extra something something with your water and it's just looking kind of boring, um, pick one of these up. I, I do think the value is worth it. For three of these, it's $3.75 and you cannot beat that. That's like the price of almost one of these boxes at the store. These next two are men's items that are more, like, I hate to call them beauty care items because I know guys would not like that one, but stocking stuffers for men. <laughs> they say Dove Men Care Extra Fresh. This one actually smells really good, just very masculine, very fresh. I mean, I don't really know a better way to explain it. Um, and this is the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Mint. I don't know how this smells or how it works, but it is a hand cream, and I believe it's probably by Bolero. Let me see. Does that say Bolero? No, it says Moisturizes Skin. I'm not sure who this is by. But look how cute it is. It's like literally a little um, thing you hang on your Christmas tree. So <laughs> I guess if you run out of room for your gifts, you can just start hanging them on the tree. But my boyfriend loves Dove. He uses a lot of their products. It's always very gentle on your skin. I don't know how much this bar is at the store, but I didn't want to pick him up a lot of frivolous things, things that he's not going to use, that he's going to throw away, that he's going to like be nice about, like, oh, that's so cute, and then never use it again. So I figured it was pretty safe with like some hand cream and a bar of soap. <laughs> he is loading up on some things. I am convinced, y'all, that cards may be one of the best deals at the Dollar Tree. Still, to this day. First of all, this card, <laughs> that cracked me up. <laughs> Look at that. It says, Santa's going to be a little late this year. <laughs> With those little symbols. <laughs> and then it says, so use this to buy whatever you want and have a Merry Christmas. Please money or gift card here. Now, they did have a lot of, like, Christmas cards that were not gift card holders. But this is for my family member that I got the gift card for. It has definitely been this kind of year for us all. So I just I had to. Um, it does not, it says Hallmark, so I guess it was once a Hallmark card. It does not have a price, but I am telling you, at Walmart, cards be like 4 to $15 for the pop-up ones or something. So, huge savings, huge. I'm not sure if this was 2 for a dollar or 1 for a dollar. 25, I'm not sure. And then this one says, hi, it's just me thinking of you, Mary thought... The, let me see if I can read. Wow, I need some more of that coffee. Hi, it's just me thinking Mary thoughts of you. And then it says, hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Was this a Hallmark card? Yeah, this was a Hallmark card. So maybe Hallmark has some kind of um, thing with the Dollar Tree where they provide cards to them or something. But very sparkly. I'm going to send this one to my granddad. He has been in the hospital and had just a really hard time had a pacemaker in and anyway he's getting out soon he's doing better he is 95 years old you guys and a dog he absolutely adored looked just like this this was like one of our most beloved dogs my first pet was a golden retriever and so I think you will just really appreciate this card mouse what do you think of all the gifts oh he know what the coffee is look at him see I'm a man of style I know what I like so we'll stick those over here the next two things are kind of random, but I actually did get this to put in my boyfriend's stocking. This is the Scent Spa Vent Clips, and I actually saw these on Crafty Girl's um, vlog about her Dollar Tree haul the other day. She picked up these. I'm not sure how they work, but my boyfriend does like to get these little um, things for his car to make them smell good. It says fresh mint. You know, I didn't want to get him something like, I don't know, Field of Roses or something like that. Like, I don't think he'd like that, so... Um. <laughs> grabbed him that one and then these are just honestly for my computer screen i'm not sure if they have this like actual pattern on them or not but it doesn't matter i just need to clean my computer screen and they said that's what they did so i figure i would give it a shot and just see how it works out you guys this is the second bag like all of this was in one bag 
Y'all see all of that? <laughs> I tell you what, to this very day, I go in Dollar Tree with a plan and I come out with absolutely none. I mean, I just buy so much that I don't plan to. That's probably why I have not been back in a long time. Yep, okay, so let's just get started on this one. Right next to cards, I think bags are also the best deal at Dollar Tree. These are $1.25 and they are by Voila, which I believe is a bag you find in a regular store. Um, they also have really cute like sides to the bags, like these little snowflakes. And it's hard to tell, but these are sparkly. and Or some of these are sparkly, but this one is sparkly on one side and then the back side is not. So that is one bag. This is the other bag. I just thought this one was really cute. Y'all tell me if your boyfriend or husband is like this or your significant other partner. Um, it's like the day before Christmas and they ask you if you have happen to have any bags because all of a sudden they realize that they may need to put your gifts in some bags and you're like, oh my goodness, like, I don't even know if I have any. This year we got, um, or not we, not we, that's cute, look at that side. This year, I got extra bags, which is kind of funny because I know I'm going to have to help them with my gifts probably, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I think it's very sweet that I get gifts from him, so we got a little couple extra bags just in case we need those, but anyway. This is a little snowflake. This is white and gold. You can totally do like your own color scheme or theme with these, but I just decided to go more off of size than I did everything matching do you know what I mean um and I didn't think there was enough to choose from for there to be like a literal color scheme other than just red and green so um I did not realize I got the second ice skating one but again I needed some backup bags so ice skating winter season acorn pond morning afternoon and evening so really really cute and this is sparkly a little bit sparkly hard to tell so got those these are the bigger bags. They say Merry Christmas. These have a more farmhouse vintage feel to them. Do y'all see that like tin foil, the red on that flower? Super pretty and only one side has it. So just like that and I'm not sure if the side has anything. Oh, it does. Look how pretty that is. This is a big bag y'all. So like compared to this bag, it's like this size right here. Oops, this size. I figured let's get a couple of larger bags. I know I'm going to need one to put a couple of gifts in. So got this guy. Can you imagine how much this is at the store? How much is this? Like five to six dollars probably at Walmart? I could be wrong, but I just feel like with the price of bags, I did not want to pay it. And I didn't want to pay it last minute. Look at that. So fun. I like looking at the side. Sorry if you see the mess back there. That really is cat toys. A weight in my boyfriend's shoes. I mean, our tree is <laughs> our tree is right here. I need to show you that. I'll show you that at the end. Um, it's really pretty. But little tin foil on this guy as well, as you can see. It's got frosty. <clears throat> and then the final bag I grabbed, which I probably grabbed way too many bags, way too many. But it was this Merry Christmas one, again with the foil, as you can see. And then I'm sure the side will look like something. Let me open it. Oh, I like that one. That one has the plaid color to it. So I really like plaid. That was a good choice on that one, I think. Um, one thing I will say about these bags you really have to watch out for is this um, ribbon popping out. So you might want to like do a little knot right here on both sides to make it a little sturdier because that string will come out. And they do all come with like a little tag, which is really sweet. I think it's just the bigger ones that come with a tag. Let me make sure I'm not telling y'all wrong. Oh wait, this one didn't come with a tag at all, but this one did. So maybe they're supposed to. Okay. Oh no, wait, smaller ones do too. See, my attention to detail is complete crap. So smaller ones have one, this one has one. Yeah, so it's just another little detail I completely missed. Right there. Y'all, do you see my little reindeer socks? I mean, they're not so little, I have huge feet, but I got these at the Dollar Tree, um, not this time, but I love me some soft socks. I wish I could turn my feet around for you so the face could be pointing in the other direction, but they are really comfortable, and I'm kind of wishing I bought more, but I am sure they're all sold out now. I noticed they had a lot of these little double bags. These were sparkly. Most all of the little ones were sparkly. Just really like the pattern on this particular one. It's like a little village with Frosty. And you get two for $1.25. And the little handles are very cute too. 
Um, I think it's a good deal because you get two. That's nice. I think you get two because they are smaller. So the sides are just like the front of the bag. And then get this one open. So very sweet. And in comparison, I'll show you. So this is like the medium bag. This is the large bag that I showed you. And then this is the small bag. So in comparison to this white one, let me back up a little bit. Let me see. Y'all are like, did you pass math class? I know it's it's very shocking, isn't it? So <laughs> there you go. It's a little bit smaller. This might even help too. So this is like one of those scent spa things. So, you know, several of the scent spa things could fit into this one. Um, and then obviously bigger items can fit into the medium size one. At this point, I think I got more bags than I have gifts. So is it wrong to just stuff some bags that are empty? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I saw this one and this one got me because of the image on the bags. I mean, Santa, Fox, Bear, Snowman, and Owl. And then on this side, especially this one, it had, um, I almost said an alligator, you guys. That is a dinosaur <laughs> on a scooter. So I think that my boyfriend will really like that one. He gets a kick out of funny things. Look how fun that is. Look how fun. And then let's see. Oh, it goes with his little, um, his little scarf right there. So that's cute. And then this one. Oh, it has uh, the foil effect on this too. This one just has stars on the side. So love that. That's like one of my favorite ones, I think. I can't believe I got another thing of bags. What is wrong with me? I got too much bags. <laughs> <laughs> but I must have gotten caught up in the images and just been like, like, look at this one. Look at this one. I can't. Do y'all see how adorable that is? It's okay. If I don't use all these, I will definitely save them until next year and reuse them. But these also have the little, the little tags right here. And then this one has the little tag right there and has sparkles on this one. So again, there was not that many that didn't have sparkles. Other than um, the big ones I showed you, like the farmhouse ones that were brown with the flowers and stuff on them, these big ones. Most, and then the white one did not have sparkles, but most of these have sparkles, which I prefer a bag without sparkles personally, because I don't like all the fallout and stuff like that from the sparkles. I don't like it getting on my skin. But when you're at the Dollar Tree and you're saving money, sometimes you just have to be like, okay, we just gonna go with the glitter today because that's what we got. I'm surprised I have any money left in my damn account after this trip. Okay, we got the bags. We got some more candy. I got some kisses, cookies and cream, and some Twix. These are individually wrapped for these and for these. So I will stick these off to the side, but these are really good to throw down in stockings. And what's really nice about like these kind of gifts is you can put them in several different stockings. I think in this one, how many pieces do you get? Does it say, I don't know. It feels like maybe like eight pieces or something. And then this one, Maybe about 12 of these or something. I'm not exactly sure, but this sounds about right. He's going to be fine, y'all. He's going to be fine. Okay, reselling stuff. Um, tape is always one that I pick up. They always have, like, a surplus of tape. They can be out of everything else but their tape. So I don't know if, like, it's just a little secret that nobody knows about that they sell tape. But <laughs> Scotch is expensive. This is clear tape. It works really well. I use it on a lot of my reselling packages. Um, and that you get two rolls and one for $1.25. I do think that's a good deal. I'm not exactly sure how that compares to Walmart, but... I feel like it's definitely cheaper. So I continue to get that. So some of the reselling things I've gotten have been the tape and then have been the um, the paper down there and the Christmas cards that were right here to add to my packages. I've not gotten very much food from the Dollar Tree. They usually have like a lot of rice and beans. And when I was there, they had like one thing of white rice and one thing of brown rice. And recently I've started using our rice maker. I have a recipe coming up that involves rice and so I decided to go ahead and grab a bag of the white rice. They, let's see, um, how big is this? It does say non-GMO, gluten-free, and it's, it's a pretty big bag of rice. 
Y'all probably like, it's good she don't do these infomercials being like, it's a pretty big bag of rice. You can see how big it is. It's pretty heavy. So, we'll try that. See how Dollar Tree rice is. But as far as food, Dollar Tree has things like tomato sauce, um, let's see, pizza, crust, vegetables, canned vegetables, beans. They Mine has uh, seasoning. I'm not saying yours will. I've seen Dollar Trees that had refrigerated sections. Mine does not have a refrigerated section, unfortunately. Um, and then I'm sure some Dollar Trees don't carry food at all. So worth checking. Certain things, again, especially like spices. I know also they have like tea and like some coffee items and sweeteners and stuff like that. So check that out. You know what I should have gotten my boyfriend? I should have gotten him a gift card to the dentist. Because <laughs> he gonna need one after all these snacks. But this is Frosty the Snowman gummies and Snickers bars. These are individually wrapped. And I guess they have like S in, like they spell out the, the word on there. So, got those for him. And we need a bigger stocking, don't we? Sure do. Also grab these little Tic Tacs for him as well for his stocking. I wanted to pick him up a little lip gloss. He likes Swedish fish, so I grabbed this, and hopefully he'll like that. He's probably going to see all this and be like, wow, this is a lot, like, overwhelmed. <laughs> but I like to shop, and I like to get him things that he will use and he will enjoy. So he's very deserving of it. He's a really, really good person. It works very hard and takes care of me and makes me laugh every day. So I want to spoil him. I hope, I hope that he likes his stuff. My living room is mainly covered with gifts <laughs> i hope we didn't bury the cat like mouse you under there i got two bread pans because believe it or not i actually want to try my hand at making bread i saw a recipe the other day where you use like yeast flour water and it might be like salt or something i'm not sure i'll have to look at the recipe but anyway um if i try that recipe and it works i will leave it down below or i'll make a separate video about it but basically i needed a pan so i could put parchment paper down in one and use this one as a lid there we go just kind of like that just to make it like fully covered and that is going to be the secret sauce for the top of the bread to look like really crispy and good so pick two of those up for $1.25 I grabbed this tarp right here I wanted to do some stuff with like plants and it's so cold outside that I didn't want to like get any dirt like in the house or garage if I'm working with dirt to repot some plants so I figured I would go ahead and grab a tarp Thought it would be useful, um, didn't go in there for it, it's just kind of one of those purchases, you know what I mean? I really did go in there for like, within mind bags, um, stocking stuff or stuff, and some like reselling stuff like tape. Um, I didn't even realize they would have these pans. I definitely didn't go in there for a gift card, so... <laughs> I spent way more than I thought I was going to spend. But anyway, it's okay. I got a lot of good stuff, you guys. And it is worth it to pay a little. It's not extra money because I saved money. You know what I mean? But I spent more during that trip than I had planned. Um, and I'm saying it's okay because I would have to, like, go back out and get this stuff at, like, Walmart, find individual things um, to put in his stocking. I did not get a lot of Christmas decorations other than that guy. I'm proud of that because if it's too close to Christmas, it just doesn't, for me, make sense to pick up a lot of decorations. So I got mainly what I needed. That was a little splurge. Um, and this was a little splurge. <laughs> but overall, I think, I think I did okay. This little guy here is going to go down in my boyfriend's stocking. He just really likes ducks. It's really cute and funny. I mean, we have ducks everywhere, like, or geese. Let me, um, let me show you where some of our geese are. Can you see them behind the Christmas tree? There's a big picture of some geese. So anyway, I just got this little guy as a joke. It's like a little chef uh, rubber ducky. And he was just sitting out. I didn't see other ones of him. He was just kind of tossed on a shelf and it's this character duck. I don't know. I just, I had to get him. The last item is this aftershave balm. This is by, let's see, Energetic Sandalwood Amber. That's the flavor. Cole Dapper? I don't know. They always make it sound like so expensive. <laughs> I don't know if that's a person that's like, famous or if that's just like a bolero type I don't know I don't know what that is but I thought that that looked really good with this see very masculine you know what I mean and it doesn't have to look masculine for a guy it's just my boyfriend is masculine he does not he just likes 
He likes things that sound like men, that smell like men would wear them. So I got that, and then I got this one also for him. And so those were those ones. But with that being said, I will say that this particular aisle was like a mess. These were kind of thrown all over the shelves. I had to kind of dig for them. So if you need items like this, go ahead and get them. Also too, they did have other items for men. They had like a face wash, a face cleanser. And though they looked nice, I knew my boyfriend would not use those because he uses like Neutrogena products and specialized creams and stuff like that so I only got him what I truly thought he may use um, I did not pick up all the men's products but worth it um, to give it a look and see what is out there and again this also looks pretty masculine goes along with that the one other thing I'm going to do is take this guy over to my coffee bar area and set him up and see how I like him oh and I also got to show you my Christmas tree Okay, you guys, I'm sorry about the mess, but this is our Christmas tree right here. I love it. It's like a big fir tree that's about six and a half feet tall, and we got it this year. I picked it out from Walmart, believe it or not, and I think it was like 225 I could be wrong. It is pre-lit. It is super easy to put together. It's like three pieces. Just plug in and boom. Um, the lights do not turn colors, to my boyfriend's dismay. He wishes that they did, but I we have really, really enjoyed this tree. It's just so full. And one thing I love about it is that it's kind of hard to like see the very bottom of it, you know, where the stem is down there. And some trees, they look too skinny to me, or you can like, like they stop like right here and you can see the stick at the bottom. And if you have gifts there or something, it's fine. It just, for me, that bothers me. I like to be able to, um to pretend like it's a real tree <laughs> so anyway i super appreciate him for getting this for me um, made me very happy i picked out the tree i showed him the one i wanted and i came home one day and he had it in the middle of the living room floor and he had gotten it for me so thank you very much to him that just that really made my year feel better y'all won't believe this guy i found him at the goodwill recently and look at him he lights up he is so precious He's like a big, frosty, stained glass window guy. And I got him for like $10, I think it was, or $8. So yeah, my boyfriend really loves him, and I do too. This is currently what I have my straws in. It's like an apple spice tea thing. I got it recently from Michael's, not thinking it's like very fall. I just really want to spend more time decorating this coffee bar area because it looks pretty plain. And I don't know, let's see how this guy works out. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Oh, look how cute that is. I really like him. I think that that was a good buy. I'll cut off the tag right here, but yeah, that's very sweet move my bow around okay there we go that's so cute okay guys thanks so much for coming with me today and watching my dollar tree haul if you'd like to see more of these or if you've missed them give me a big thumbs up and let me know and i may consider going back and doing some more for you it was good to do it again and i hope you find some wonderful things for good prices for christmas i'll see you later bye